Okay, my phone got hot and it cut off. Come on back, come on in the room. That devil don't like that. That devil don't like that. Okay, let me pick up from where I left off, y'all. Go ahead and invite and share again. Um, this will be part two, I guess. Um, so if you was on the first one or if you didn't catch the first one, what I was saying was the Lord had showed me rappers. Um, and then I'm going to pick up where I left off, but let me just go back real quick. And then I got to get off of here. Um, the Lord showed me rappers and celebrities that they will begin to hit the headlines um, because uh, he said a lot of them pray to me and ask me how to bo shy that they ask me to bless them with their dream and their vision a lot of them grew up in the church and then when they got in Hollywood when I when they got their record deals when they got um, their movie deals they turned their back to me says the Lord he said so watch celebrities watch uh, rappers that are going to hit the headlines for death untimely premature death um prison more prison um in other situations he also showed me so pray for the rappers that they will turn and repent back to god um rappers in particularly he was showing me in dreams for months at the beginning of the year, of the year young thug the rapper young thug and i didn't understand i thought because we both were in atlanta that i was going to probably run into him in the airport and give him a word and he would change his life or something i didn't know why god kept showing me the rapper young thug and then before i knew it he got hit with rico charges um, um, uh, uh, and it was after, if you catch it, the last album he released or some type of artwork he released, he was covered in blood. If you look at the art artwork young thug right before they picked him up for the rico charges he was covered in blood and i said god this is why you keep showing me this man i'm praying for his soul i'm praying that i run into him so that i can speak a word and he'll turn back to you because he knows who you are he said yes a lot of them know who i am a lot of them shy. a lot of rappers know who i am for they are pks they have praying grandmothers they mama they daddy kept them in church and i blessed them and they turned they back and gave the, the horrible shot gave their talent to the devil and so more celebrities particularly rappers will die more rappers will end up in the headlines for negativity he also showed me bishop whitehead which was the one that hit the news um because he was originally he hit the news originally because he was robbed in his church and we started feeling bad for him saying how dare somebody come into the house of God and rob a preacher but things didn't seem right something in the milk was not clean and then he hit the blogs again for choking a woman in his church and the Lord gave me a dream he showed me Bishop Whitehead in a, a mansion in a home preaching in his home and a big black crow came in his home and started tearing down the ceiling started poking the ceiling and the ceiling started to cave in the wall started to fall and he said it's gonna start with bishop whitehead because he shall have judgment judgment shall come to him while he still has breath in his body some of y'all ain't gonna wait to see judgment when you die some of y'all gonna be judged while there is still blood flowing in your body he says i'm about to judge bishop whitehead but it's about to be like a domino effect for i for judgment shall come to the false prophets i shall not say the body of Christ because they are not a part of the body of Christ but they are what the Bible has warned us when it talks about false prophets but God says that I, judgment is about to hit the false prophets and those who have deceived my people he said judgment is coming to the leaders high and low the ones you least expect the ones that you have made your God high yet the ones that you have made see there's a difference between honoring your leader there's a difference between honoring your man or woman of God and then worshiping them like your God. He says there is judgment coming. There is judgment coming not only to the false prophets, but to the gospel singers, the gospel singers who have released a perverted performance. There is gospel singers who have no authentic oil, but they have released a perverted praise. The Bible says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. God takes praise and worship very seriously. And these new gospel artists, some of them don't have it. They sound 
sound good, but it sound like I'm re- it sound like I'm ready to twerk when I listen to some of these songs. Some of these songs they're saying God, but they don't live for God. Honorable shy. He says that judgment is coming to those who have released a perverted praise. Honorable shy. For I take praise and worship seriously, and you have released a stench in the nostrils of God. And there's going to be a domino effect to the false prophets and the gospel singers. I know y'all love Maverick City, but you better pray for them. Hannibal Shea, you better pray for Maverick City and these new artists. These new artists. You hear me? When I listen to gospel music, I got to listen to Yolanda Adams. I got to listen to the old James Fortune. I got to listen to the old Kirk Franklin. I got to listen to the old John P. Key. I got to listen to Shirley Caesar. I got to listen to Marvin Winans because some of this new music, it make me want to twerk. Some of this new music don't put me in the mood to worship God. The new ones, I love me some Jacqueline, but I, uh, uh, some some of the new ones, Tasha Cobbs and all, some of the new ones, they 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 cool, but you better watch some of these gospel singers who are in the, in the industry for the the wrong reason and they have released a perverted praise um and then the lord showed me this is where the phone got cut off the first time the lord showed me uh don't sleep on putin but he's being driven by a spirit and so russia is not done don't sleep on russia they're quiet now but don't sleep on russia putin is being driven by a spirit don't sleep don't sleep on russia also there is a hurricane there is a storm that is coming it is on the rise and it's scheduled uh to go through the Caribbean and then hit Florida. He said the same way the storm, the physical storm is coming to do a wipeout. That's the same thing I'm about to do in the body of Christ. He says, I'm about to do a wipeout. I'm about to wipe out the false prophets. I'm about to wipe out the perverted praise. He said, yes, we have entered into a great falling away for there have been many people who have left God. There has been many people who have left the church. He says, but there is coming a time where people will run back to the church there is revival coming back to the church because people are going to realize that my sage didn't work carnival shot they're going to realize that my crystals didn't work they gonna realize you're gonna start seeing gangsters playing worship music you about to start seeing strippers on their knees at the altar he says there are people that are about to run back to me for satan has a short time so god is about to snatch some people out of the hands of the devil and so there even though there has been a great falling away there's also about to be a great revival in the body of christ and you about to see young people young people young people because we have thrown away the generation x y and z we have thrown away the millennials we have thrown them away we have cast them aside but god says that i'm not done with them yet and there is still a remnant of people who i'm calling back to revival so yes there has been those who have turned away for strange fire and strange doctrine but there is going to be a rise and a revival in the church says the lord he even showed me y'all i was sitting in my house and I started seeing numbers increase with a dollar sign in front. He says, I'm about to increase bank accounts for believers. He says, for those who have sold, because I know some of y'all swear not to give your church your money to the church, but you give your money to the hairdresser, you give your money to the club, you give your money to the grocery store, you give your money to the strippers, the prostitutes, the hookers, the sugar daddies, the baby daddies, you give your money to the, the name brands and all of that, but you refuse some of y'all have refused to sow into God's house but there have been some of us who say I don't care what you say I don't care what you feel I believe in biblical principles and I believe in sowing for I believe that there is power in sowing I believe that God still loves a cheerful giver and so God showed me that bank accounts was going to increase for believers those who have sold when people said you was crazy for giving your money to the church well baby the same way that you gotta pay the light bill in your house for the lights to work we gotta pay the light bill in the church the same way you gotta pay the water people and give them your money for you to be able to take a shower and drink water we gotta pay the light bill and the water bill in the church and some of us have been spiritually mature enough to keep sowing and God showed me that there was going to be an increase in bank accounts yes there's a recession yes there is a famine but 
those who have sold, those who have tied, baby, you are about to be increased. I just preached in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that reward is coming to believers. Those who have sold, those who have seeked, those who have sacrificed, there is a reward coming. And God showed me an increase in bank accounts for believers. And so I'm getting out of here, but let me run it back to you. Pray for rappers, for I see great numbers of rappers dying. I was supposed to release this when he kept showing me Young Thug. And I didn't know why he kept showing me that man. I told you I thought I was going to run into the man at the airport and give him a word. But no, he told me to pray for his soul because destruction was coming. Death and prison is going to be their portion. So pray for them. He also showed me judgment was coming to Bishop Whitehead. He said because he's an embarrassment to my kingdom. But not only him, but it shall be others. It will be a domino effect of leaders being judged while they still got breath in their body but you have pissed off God so much that he not even gonna wait for you to die for him to judge you but you gonna experience the wrath of God while there is still breath in your body if you don't repent he also said I'm not only dealing with leaders in my pulpit but even the gospel industry for they have released a perverted praise and he said to pray for Maverick City honorable shy he said don't sleep on Putin and Russia for they are not done. He also said that there was an increase in bank accounts for believers. And he said, although there is a great falling away, there is a time coming where people are about to run back into the church. So I promise you, if you think about leaving, the devil is alive. This is the worst time to try to leave God. This is the worst time to try to leave church. You can't love God and hate church. You can't love God and follow the Bible and not belong to a leader. That's out of order and that's not biblical. That is a contradictory. You cannot say, I love God, I live for God, and yet you forsake the assembly. No, 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 no. He said, I gave some apostles, some bishops, some prophets, some pastors, some teachers, because there are some who are ordained and assigned over your soul and sitting in your bed watching Facebook and YouTube ain't gonna carry you over the cross. Do you hear me? There are some of y'all who who have left church, you better pray for a leader that got the heart of God, because we highlight the false prophets, but we ignore the remnants, for there are still people who are real men and women of God, who have the heart of God that are still here, and yet we look at people like Bishop Whitehead, and we look at the leaders who are cussing in the pulpit, we look at the leaders who are having 10 kids with the pew members, we look at all of them, and we say, oh, and we look at the ones who are doing money grabs and all of that, and we use that as an excuse for us to turn our back to God in the church. But you are left without excuse. I hear the Lord. You are left without excuse in this season. But judgment is coming, says God. And you got to have your house in order. You can't stand before the Father and say, hey, I left church because of so and so. I left church because they was doing this. And doing. He said, no, what did I tell you to do? There are some of you who are out of your position when God has called you to write the book. God has called you to start the ministry. God has called you to serve that leader. God has called you to get on your face, but you have given more honorable shy attention to things that don't matter than you have to God. And judgment is coming, honorable shy. So you got to get your house in order. I got to go. I got to go. Pray for these rappers. Pray for the gospel industry, honorable shape. And this storm that is coming over the weekend, he said, the same way we see it in the natural, we're going to see it in the spirit. The same way we see it in the natural, this storm, this hurricane, I and Ian, Ivan, uh, Ike Turner, whoever, the storm, the hurricane that's coming. He said, the same way you see it in the natural, you shall see it in the spirit because I'm about to clean house. Get your house in order. Get your house in order. Ha! Get your house in order. Because judgment is coming. But there shall be a great revival that's coming back to the church. There shall be a great revival coming back to the church. And God says, if you if you want to be an old washed up church person, you've done with church because you'd have been hurt. Your feelings been hurt. You so mad with the church and the organization. Yeah, he said, I, if you don't come back, I'll raise up a crackhead. If you don't come back, I'll draw the drug dealers. If you don't come back, I'll draw the 21 year olds. I'll draw, draw the club goers. I'll draw the killers and the murderers. If your little church self, you've been in church your whole life and you're so tired of the church, I'll overlook you and I'll go get people that don't look like you to serve me. For there shall be a great revival coming back to the church. 
I gotta go. If you in Atlanta or can get to the Atlanta area Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, hi, double shy. We are having our anniversary at uh, somewhere. I can't even think, y'all, because I feel the Holy Ghost. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven, Hannibal Shy, is at hand. Repent. We ain't perfect. We're going to always, always have something that we struggle with. But the more that you're in the face of God, the less you'll struggle with. The more I've noticed in this fast, the more that I'm at his feet, the less I'm, I'm worried about anything else. The less angry I am, the less irritated I am, the less frustrated, the less I want to pull up, the less I want to cuss out, the less I want to do what Whatever is outside of his will. When you stay at the feet of God, you'll stay out of trouble. We see people getting in trouble with God because they're not at the feet of God. They at the feet of the casino. They at the feet of the strip club. They at the feet of the bar. They everywhere else. But if you stay at the feet of Jesus, you'll see change and transformation like never before. I gotta go. If you can get to Atlanta this weekend with us, I'd be gr it'd be great to see you. For we shall have revival. Don't book me for your church if you don't want deliverance or healing and a real prophetic word. For I can't just preach houses and cars and checks. But if I tell you money is coming, money is coming. And God showed me increase is coming to the believers. If I tell you money is coming, because I don't play that. If I tell you money is coming, you better expect a check or an unexpected deposit to hit your bank account. Soon and very soon. But repent. I gotta go.